In today's video, I will analyze the most powerful Renegon, but I will not focus on the power level of the users, since the Renegon, depending on the user, is more or less powerful. So I will be only analyzing the skill and talent when using the Renegon. Coming in our 10th spot, we have Black Zetsu, who was one of the main villains of the series and was the physical manifestation of Kaguya Atsutsuki's will. He managed to have the Renegon at the end of the series by controlling Obito's body. Black Zetsu performed the Rene Rebirth to bring Madara back to life. His ability with the Renegon is very limited, and he does not do much more than control the body of Obito. We continue on with Jigen's Tentels. Kara's leader in Boruto, Jigen, is really powerful, and his Tentels also seems to be, although at the moment his power is unknown. Although this Tentels is smaller than Kaguya's, we can assume that it is just as strong, or even stronger. As he possesses the Renegon with Tomoe's, it is capable of destroying planets, and if it is at the level of the Earth, it will be unstoppable. Coming at our A spot, we have Nagato Uzumaki, who is one of the most fearsome characters in the entire series. Nagato obtained Madara's transplanted eye when he was a child, and it was as a teenager that he began to use this dojutsu in a conscious way. Due to his Rinnegan, he was so powerful that using the six paths of pain, he was able to defeat our beloved Jiraiya, and even destroy Konoha. He could use the six paths due to the great reserves of chakra that he possessed by belonging to the Uzumaki clan. During the fourth ninja war, he was resurrected by Kabuto's Edo Tensei, and was able to immobilize Naruto KCM and Killer B at the same time. If if it had not been for Itachi's help, they would have had serious problems. I'm convinced that Nagato would have killed them. Nagato is one of the few who can use the Rinnegan to its full capacity. We continue on with Obito Uchiha, who was also one of the antagonists of the series. Obito was in charge of taking the Rinnegan to continue with the Tsukiyomi's plan to become real. Obito transplanted a Rinnegan in himself, and with only one eye, he dominated and controlled six bijus at the same time during the fourth great ninja war, while dominating the ghetto Mazo without any problem. Although he was not as skilled as Nagato using the six paths, he managed to create them, and that gave Naruto himself problems. When he became the ten-tailed Chinchuriki, Obito became really powerful. Next on the list is Madara Uchiha. He got the Rinnegan at his old age by fusing the powers of Ashiro with those of Indra and managed to break one of the most powerful Funjutsus that kept the Ghetto Mazo trapped. And when he was the Jinchuriki of the Tintels, his power was almost divine. Using his Rinnegan, Madara Uchiha projected a shadow of himself into Limbo, an invisible world that coexists with the physical world that is ordinarily impossible to detect or perceive. He was a really skilled user with the Rinnegan. In our fifth spot, we have Sasuke Uchiha, who woke up the Renegon in his left eye, thanks to the Sage of Six Paths, Hagoromo Atsutsuki. His Renegon has six Tomoe's. Only within hours of awakening his Renegon, he could dominate Nine-Tailed Beast at once, effortlessly. And as expected of Sasuke in his adulthood, he had already mastered all of his Renegon's powers, from using the Six Paths of Pain to using a Minotechi Kara teleportation. As if all this wasn't enough, he also has space-time abilities that allow him to open portals to different dimensions. We have to keep in mind that his Renegon absorbs a lot of chakra, and if Sasuke had more chakra, he could do incredible things. Although he has a lot of chakra, he doesn't have nearly as much as Nagato, who being an Uzumaki had such chakra reserves that he could use the six paths of pain at the same time. And Sasuke by using just one is already exhausted. But despite the chakra drawback, he has a great command of the Renegon. Taking our fourth spot is Kaguya Atsutsuki, the progenitor of Chakra on planet Earth. Kaguya possessed a power similar to the Renegon with her dojutsu known as Rene Sharingan. She uses the abilities of both the Sharingan and the Renegon, so this dojutsu is superior to the Renegon. Using her powers, Kaguya could open portals in up to six different dimensions, even immediately teleporting herself and those around her, and for that, she required a lot of Chakra, and Kaguya had it. In our third spot, we have Momoshiki Atsutsuki, one of the strongest members of the Atsutsuki clan, to be able to fight at the same time against the Naruto and Sasuke at their maximum potential. Momoshiki has three different Renegons. With the left hand, he could absorb all the chakra, and using the right hand, he could make the jutsu several times more powerful and expel it. And the third Renegon is on his forehead. Momoshiki is one of the most skillful users and mighty of the Renegon. Taking our silver medal is Irashiki Atsutsuki, one of Momoshiki's subordinates. Many of you will disagree, but let me explain it. It is true that Irashiki is sad and is the worst Atsutsuki of all, as he was defeated by two Ginnings. In theory, his level of power would have to be fearsome being an Atsutsuki, but he underestimated his rivals. But I'm not analyzing his power level. I'm analyzing only his Renegon. Let's also remember that he was able to fight two of the five Kages with ease. He has the Tomoe and Renegon in both eyes. Ninjutsu is practically useless against Irashiki. The Renegon allows him to teleport to places in Instantly, and when combined with his ability to steal the chakra of his foes, his Renegon is very powerful. He is undoubtedly one of the most terrible characters there is, but that does not mean that he is unskillful with the Renegon. 
And finally, taking our number one spot, we have Hagoromo Atsutsuki, also known as the Sage of Six Paths. Being one of the most powerful characters in the Naruto verse, Hagoromo inherited a form derived from the third eye of his mother, the Rinnegan. In the anime, Hagoromo awakened the Rinnegan after nearly murdering Hamura, and to save him from his mother's influence and Hagoromo's abilities with his dojutsu are unmatched. We were shown a fraction of his powers when he created the moon using the Shibaku Tensei. After spreading his power between Naruto and Sasuke, Hagoromo had enough chakra to summon all the Bijuu, all the previous Kages, and release the four kages from Edo Tensei. That's why Hagoromo holds the first spot. That's all for today's video, and if you enjoyed it, make sure to click on this one where you can see this power levels playlist. Be sure to check out our new channel, Shonen Source, where you can see the stories of all your favorite characters. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that post notification bell to be notified every time we upload. I'll see you in another video. Bye!